What's up, what's up guys? Welcome to another Workout Wednesday. Okay, so this workshop we've been doing a lot of side snap kicks, okay? And with side snap kicks, it requires a certain amount of flexibility and strength in your hips, okay? So we're gonna do a couple of drills that you can do at home with a chair. I'm using a little bag right now. You can use the wall, all right? And these are gonna help strengthen our hip muscles. So the first one that we're going to do is you're gonna keep your leg, lead leg straight, Okay, knee straight and hand up, and you're just gonna bring your foot up there, boom, like that. One, two, we're gonna go for 20. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold it up there. One, two, three, four and five very good very good so 20 reps and then hold it up for five seconds at the end knee straight hip is up and don't try and dip your back like this okay you want to keep your back straight as you lift it up okay we're gonna do the other side now all right 20 with the other side here we go and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold up one, two, three, four, and five. Very good. You should be feeling it in your hips, okay? And in your glutes too, in your butt. All right. You can do as many of those as you want, okay? You can alternate. You can do 20 on one side, 20 on the other. Keep on going, 20 and 20. We're now going to do another exercise to help us with our side snap kicks. Those kind of strengthen your hip muscles so you can hold your leg up there without uh, using something to balance, okay? That really strengthens this up. Now, this next one is going to work on the extension of the kick, okay? And it's gonna work on your form and your technique. So, let me get my camera in position here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so you're gonna chamber your leg out to the side like a side kick, okay? All right, so we're gonna do 10, extend, bring it back, it's one, two, notice I'm not going fast, we're going slow and controlled, three, four, five, some of you are going to be able to get higher than others, that's okay, six, if you really want to make it challenging, let go of the wall, let go of the chair, let go of the bag, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Very good, very good. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, so now we gotta even it out. We gotta do the other side, okay? So let me get the camera in position. Right here. Okay, you ready? And we're gonna lift it up to the side. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, try to look over the wall. Eight, nine, ten. Very good, very good. Shake it out. You should really feel that in your hips. All right. So, a lot of you might not be that flexible with this kick. That's okay. I'm not the most flexible. Doing exercises like that, though, help strengthen our hips, okay? It's a lot more than just being flexible. You still want to stretch and everything, but you want your hips and your glutes to be strengthened so you can hold that leg up there. Your leg's one of the heaviest things on your body, okay? So not only do you have to be flexible when using it, but you gotta be strong while using it. This help, these exercises, they help our flexibility, but also help the strength in our hips and in our glutes, okay? And that's gonna make you dynamite at kicking. If you look at gymnastics, okay, gymnasts, other martial artists, okay, uh, dancers, what they do is they practice on like ballet bars, they'll practice on uh, parallel bars, all that kind of stuff, holding their leg up for a long period of time, okay? What it does is that's not just making you more flexible, that's increasing that strength. So doing exercises like that, just with a kitchen chair, with a, with a wall, um, even in your room, just hold on to your bedpost or something like that, can really, really, really help you out uh, being a good kicker, okay? 
So guys, workout Wednesday. We'll see you next week. Take care.